Do you find yourself spending your days longing for someone, missing someone, feeling the absence of your specific person? Missing your specific person can really put a damper on your manifestation, especially if you are not able to keep your mind off of the absence of that particular person in your life. So in today's episode of Roxy Talks, we are discussing exactly what you can do if you find you're missing your specific person so that you do not derail your manifestation. Stay tuned. What is up my fellow dreamers and soul searchers? Thank you for joining me here for another episode of Roxy Talks, where we discuss confidence, mindset, manifestation, and more. I'm Roxy Lee. I'm a mindset coach, and I'm here to help you banish your negative thinking and limiting beliefs so you can bring love, clarity, and joy into your life. If you are looking to manifest the best version of your ideal relationship, whether that's with a current partner or somebody you're not with at the moment, check out my Manifest a Specific Person workshop. It's a nine module course designed to help you get to the bottom of whatever it is that is standing in the way between you and your ideal relationship and partner. You can check out the Manifest a Specific Person workshop at my website, roxytalks.com. Of course, that link is in the description below. I'm also launching a brand new style channel where you will get to go behind the scenes so that you can see exactly what it takes to get into my looks for Roxy Talks, including this look, which will be featured on our very first episode of Roxy Talks Style, and it will be launching tomorrow. And also, Roxy Talks is going down to three videos a week, and Wednesday's video will now be taking place on the Style channel, and we will be talking about confidence and expression through your wardrobe and fashion. So don't forget to subscribe to my brand new Style channel. The link, of course, for that is in the description below as well. And if you'd like more help with your own personal situation, head to my website, roxytalks.com, for courses, work shops and coaching, as well as podcasts and exclusive merch. And don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Now, before we get into this video, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you're feeling generous, please like and share. That helps us reach as many people as possible and everyone deserves to know that they are in complete control of their reality. So when you are missing your specific person, now I know before we get into this video, let me just say, I understand how hard it can be and how draining and how debilitating it can be sometimes. I really truly get that. You know, I speak to a lot of people and I hear the the layers or the levels of devastation that missing somebody can do to a person. I understand the toll that it takes, but having said that, we have to understand that indulging in that absence and that pain is exactly why there is absence and pain. So even when you miss them so much that it hurts, we really need to do our best to recognize those moments for what they are, which is indulging in lack, indulging in absence. It is magnifying what you don't have in your life for hours, days, months, years, you tell me. Sometimes we have extreme cases where we are feeling the lack and absence of somebody for years on end. And the more you feel it, the more you agree with it, the longer it stays. So naturally what you must do in order to do do away with it is indulge in what you do have. Turn your sights away from what you don't have. The world is a mirror and the universe gives you reflections of what you are. It gives you reflections of what you think about and the way you think about it. So if you are constantly soaking up woe is me thoughts, feeling alone, thinking you're going to be alone forever, wondering when it's going to come, wondering why it hasn't come, crying about it, feeling sad, feeling empty, feeling like you'll never be happy without it. These feelings are extremely counterproductive. And I'm not saying they're not valid. I'm not saying that you don't have every right to feel that way. I'm just saying, shh. Shut the fuck up about it for a second so that your manifestation can come through. And that's said with love. That's said like a sister to sister, like, bitch, do you want this person? Okay, what you need to do then is stop talking about the fact that they are not here. And I don't mean just out loud talking. I mean mental talk too. 
We know how important a mental diet is. I actually just gave a six hour workshop on mental diet and the recording is available at my website, Roxy Talks, if you're interested, not to put a little plug there, but really to put a little plug there because honestly, getting your mental diet in check will solve this problem for you. You must take control of your thoughts on every single subject, of course, including your specific person, but all over the place because you might be indulging in lack and doubt in other areas. You might be so used to feeling woe is me about stuff constantly that you are putting that onto every area of your life and you're going to see it grow. You're going to see it stick around. It's not going to go anywhere. It doesn't want to go anywhere. Why would it go anywhere when you are constantly feeding it? So what you need in these moments is what <laughs> Lady Gaga called a crisis of gratitude. I watched a video where she was rehearsing with her dancers and she said, if anybody's having a crisis right now, it's a crisis of gratitude because we're doing art for a living. And that really stuck out to me. I really liked that because what she's saying there is that if you have time to complain, you do not realize the amazing abundance of gifts that are all around you in this very moment. And when you are complaining and not focusing on the amazing gifts and abundance around you, you are creating more things to complain about instead of creating more abundance in your life. Well, actually, let's take that back. You are creating more abundance, but you're creating an abundance of shit to complain about. So let's not do that anymore. So what you're going to do when you find yourself missing your specific person or noticing lack, noticing absence, feeling like you're not there, feeling like it's taking a long time, feeling like it's never going to come, wondering if it ever will, all of those types of unproductive and not worth a second of our fucking attention thoughts that people are just love to indulge in all day long. When you have those, you're going to catch them because we're aware, right? We're working on our mental diet. We are using our awareness to pay attention to when we do the old thing that keeps us in our old reality that we don't want to be in anymore. So you're going to catch yourself starting to indulge in missing absence lack. And what you're going to do is you're going to spiral on gratitudes and platitudes. What does that mean? It means we are going to appreciate what we already have now. Appreciate everything we've ever been given. Appreciate everything around you now. Appreciate what you do have. Appreciate who you do have. Appreciate the fact that you're still here. Appreciate the fact that you have a roof over your head or whatever. Start listing off the things that you literally have now. We've heard that saying energy flows where attention goes, right? So put your attention on how great things are for for you and energy will flow towards great things happening for you. Okay. The world is a mirror. Remember that you must be great or feel good or say that you feel good so that more things to feel good about come your way. You hold up. I feel good in front of a mirror and I feel good is returned to you. Now, the cool thing is that you don't even have to feel feel good. You just need to say that you do. Okay. Gratitudes and platitudes. Make yourself say these things. Okay. So that you are not saying the opposite. Now, what does platitudes mean? Platitudes are just generic phrases that maybe don't have a whole lot of meaning, but they do work really well in instances like this. When we're spiraling, platitudes work really great. I'm fine. I'm okay. Everything's okay. You know, things are good. We're good. Everything's all good. We're all good here. We're all good. I'm not worried. I'm okay. Everything's working out. It's okay. Everything's working out. Best case scenario. Best case scenario is a platitude. Okay. But it feels really good. It's self-soothing. In the moment, it feels good to say something like, you know what? Everything's okay. For some reason, that feels good. For some reason, sometimes platitudes feel better than actual affirmations about your specific person or your situation. And I know that I hear this all the time and I do it for myself, right? It's easier for me to say, no, we're all good. Everything's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're all good. We're all good. When I'm spiraling versus no girl, you got this. You can take on the world. Everything's working out for you. You are an amazing person. I'm strong. I'm helping people. Business is booming. Blah, blah. Like it's much easier to believe. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's good. It's okay. 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good for me. It's easier to get myself out of a worked up state by it's all gooding it versus trying to use specific affirmations that would, in theory, counterbalance that situation, but maybe won't when I'm spiraling. Gratitudes and platitudes, okay? So things that you're grateful for and self-soothing, easy shit in the moment. 
a nice, cozy, warm blanket. Because honestly, that's kind of what you need anyways, right? Is a nice, warm embrace, something cozy and just like, uh, peace and release and comfort and the opposite of fear, safety, stability, reliability, trust, honesty, understanding. So wrap yourself in a nice warm blanket of platitudes and gratitudes, kind words to yourself that remind you, you know what? We're all good here. You're not missing anything. You're not separate from your person. You couldn't be separate from them if you tried. So the second you stop defining yourself as separate from them, as hard to blah, 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 alone forever, this doesn't work for me, all that shit. The second you stop defining yourself that and wearing the name tag of that is the second you stop being it. You don't have to be, it doesn't even have to take a long time. It just takes you stopping saying it, stopping defining your situation like that for the love of God. Just stop saying this stuff, okay? Even if you do miss your person, fine. We don't need to let the universe in on that because when you miss something, you affirm that it is not around you. It goes hand in hand. It happens in the same moment. I miss the thing because it's not here with me. I don't miss this pen because it is right here. Couldn't miss it if I tried. It's right the fuck there. Don't miss it. Don't need it. So at the end of the day, the answer is always the same. Recognize when you are telling a story that does not line up or match you to your chosen reality. And missing your specific person certainly does not match you up to the reality of you having them with you, around you, and near you. not far away at all. Change the story and then be the change. You have to be it. You can't expect your world to show up differently if you won't show up differently. Doesn't make sense. The world's a mirror. Act like it. Only display behavior and thoughts that you want to continue experiencing. Otherwise, don't even bother driving yourself crazy constantly trying to nail this if you're not going to be diligent with it. So I want you to comment down below. It's already done. This is an easy one. It's already done. It's already done. They're already mine. They're already here. It's already done. It's already done. I'm good. I don't have to worry about that because I want you to tell yourself something generic, something easy. When you start to worry about your person or miss them or feel the absence of them, remind yourself, you know what? I don't, I'm already, it's already done. It's already on its way. It's already unfolding right now. And the more I leave the worrying off the table, the faster and quicker it comes to me. Great. Cause I'm really good at it. I'm really good at it. It's already done. Not worried. So again, if you are looking to really hone in on your specific situation, when it comes to love and relationships, check out my manifest a specific person workshop. It will help you get to the bottom of what is standing in your way between you and your ideal relationship. You can check out that workshop at my website, roxytalks.com. Of course, that link is in the description below. And don't forget, I've got my brand new style channel launching where I will be going behind the scenes of each and every Roxy Talks look, including this amazing cat lady look (laughs) slash spice girls. We don't know. It's just, it's a bunch of stuff, but I will be dissecting this look and going behind the scenes and showing you exactly how I put it together on my brand new channel, Roxy Talk Style. Of course, that link is in the description below, so be sure to subscribe. The very first video will be discussing this look in particular, so please subscribe to my brand new style channel. It's launching tomorrow. You will be able to see exactly how I got this look together and what it takes to become Roxy Talks as far as the outer appearance goes and gain your own style and confidence tips along the way. My brand new channel, Roxy Talk Style, launches tomorrow and will be taking over the place of the Wednesday weekly video for Roxy Talk. So if you're missing Roxy Talks tomorrow, head on over to the style channel because I've got you covered and we're discussing again appearance because hey, we all have one. And if you're looking for more insight on your personal situation, I've also got courses, workshops, and coaching, plus podcasts and exclusive merch at my website, roxytalks.com. And don't forget to join me on social media. I am on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And you can also join my Facebook group, Black Moon Society. It's a great community for like-minded people who are helping each other manifest. Here on the Roxy Talks channel, we go live every Monday at noon-ish, PST for Q&A. And I've got brand new videos out three times a week. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss an update. And if you're feeling generous, please like and share. That helps us reach as many people as possible. And everyone deserves to know that they are in complete control of their reality. We're all raising our vibrations together. You have the power. I believe in you.